This is D. Brown and Begotten Son, and today we're going to dive within the sound wave of Resolute. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh. Tell me, can you feel the clock ticking? You might feel enslaved if you can't make a decision. Whether in cage or free range, you still chicken. Go to be like Mike, if you fall short, you still pippin'. Opening everything up with this, tell me, can you feel the clock ticking? Bringing in Resolute, seeing that the title of the track is called Resolute. When I say, when can you feel the clock ticking? It really turns into, um, it really brings in the whole thing about being resolute when you make a decision and you go for that, where if you're not making a decision, you always have this thing where you feel like the time is just running down. You feel like you're in a space of like limbo. So you just don't know what you want to do, don't know the decisions you want to make. So that's why I say, you know, you might feel enslaved because when you can't make a decision, you feel like you're just locked in and you don't know what to do, don't know where to turn. So you feel like you enslaved at that point. Then I move on to that about basically saying, be the best self, go out there and be great. Where it's basically saying, go to be like Mike. And of course, how they always say about uh, when it comes to Mike and Scottie Pippen, everybody always remember Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen is still a legend at the game. In a lot of people's eyes, he's just a little bit under Michael Jordan. So seeing that they played on the same team, that's the whole thing. You can go ahead and be like Mike. If you fall short, you still be pipping. So that comes from the old saying, you know, where it say, shoot for the moon. If you miss, you'll still be amongst the stars. Feel it, I'm the man when I walk, Mike throw the limping. These holes drawn to him like hoes, this big pimping. But my mind stay on top of the globe, this Mount Olympus. Reserved for the great, so tell me, where you fit in? So then I'm just on, on my brass stuff right there where it's just, you know, I feel like I'm the man when I walk, Mike throw the limping like a pimp you know so that takes me think with that mindset like a pimp that's when i move on to the whole joint big pimping of course jay-z with big pimping and then i say about being on mount olympus where is basically that part right there where the seats that's that's right there for mount olympus is basically the seats for the greats the seats for the gods and all that so when you think of somebody like jay-z who basically we feel like is like a, a big part of this rap game and all that we look at him and be like that's one of the the gods of rap. I'm just tying all these things in from feeling like a pimp to big pimping that got Jay-Z from Jay-Z to the gods and the gods from Mount Olympus and, and then that's the seats that you want to be in. I told you I'ma take aim, I tighten up my sights. Who's in my crosshairs? You feeling lucky, right? Holla hell of a ride, turn into a lucky life. But you can't tell that until you look back on it, right? Everything right there is basically straightforward. But then I say, how a hell of a ride turn into a lucky life. You don't know what your life is going to turn out or you don't know what a situation, how the situation pans out across time. You're in the situation and you're like, this is crazy. I don't like it. This why, why is this, why is this happening to me? But then when everything comes into view and you get past that situation and you actually get towards the, get on the other side, get towards your goal or whatever, you actually see how that situation actually helped you get to that goal. So it's like how a hell of a ride that's something that you hate turns into a lucky life now you look back and be like damn i was lucky that i got here that's why i say but you don't know that until you look back on it and then i move right on to that just really going deeper into that thought process and i go into it with this maybe or maybe you can live in the present realizing that it's the present and continuously open it up and feel the reverence when you look at all that now you look at it and see you have a couple options right here. You can either look back on everything and see, okay, this is how everything worked out for me. Or you can actually just live in the present and realize that it is a present, like a gift. You know, your present is a gift. Basically what those lines mean right there. And with that, you can continuously, if you stay in the present, then that means you will continuously open up your gift and actually enjoy where you're at in this moment. So you have two options where you can just grudge through it, drudge through everything. And then at the end of it all, when you have the you, when you're reaping the, your rewards, you can actually look at it and be like, OK, this is what I wanted. And this is how everything in my life played for it. Or you can just stay in the present as they as they would say. So it's kind of like a you just choose the way you want to go living about your life with this. Or bow down and show deference or break down every line so you can see the difference. And then we just end off everything right there where bow down and show deference, of course, going with everything I just said with that. 
And then I just bring it right back on to this where breaking down the lines to see the difference. Is this what we're not doing right now? You can look me in my eyes and see I'm resolute. A warrior in the arena, I'm absolute. I'm a soldier in the field, see me just salute. Cause I'm going for what I want, see I'm resolute. My baby said, tell me that you going at them right Beaming across the globe like I'm sitting on a satellite Don't pay attention to grades, let's just show that you're a loyal right I see you got an F, so we are not an A alike All that right there is straightforward We move right on to not paying attention to grades When it comes to like schooling, grades really don't matter When it comes to the real world But then we, I take it into, unless you're loyal Now you're being graded on how you are as a partner, as a friend, as a lover or whatever, let me see how you are when it comes to being loyal. If you get an F, then you're not, then we are not A alike. As in, of course, that saying A alikes are come together. We're not A alike because you got an F. So F and A, we're just playing off of the Fs and A, A alike. Boom. Big enough for my radius, that's goals. Generational wealth with no kid, now that's goals. If it's begotten sounds that you hear, now that goes. Anybody else is just watered down assholes. It's begotten sounds, nothing else. Boom. Uh, the audacity, but these niggas won't ask me. I promise when I take the lead, these niggas won't pass me. Legendary like LaBelle, this is so patty. I come on to this next part where people will say, oh, he had the audacity for him to say something like that and really feel that way. He's just so cocky and all that. Where I'm just feeling like, but they won't say it to my face. Simple as that. People like to talk behind your back, but they won't say it to your face. And then I move from that right on to the next part where I'm just talking about this whole thought process that I at least had for me in my mind when I hear a lot of different artists that come up and they be hungry and all that and they be spitting. But then right when they break through and they have everyone listening to them and they just, they're the man, they the woman. Now all of a sudden you get the thing of, oh, they don't do it like they used to. You should have heard the old such and such or they used to really kill it. Now they just laid back. That's why I say what, what I say right there about just taking the lead because I'm not giving it back. After, once you in that position, my thought process is you're in that that lead position why I come up off the gas you know just keep on pushing it full throttle so focus what you believe that I pop no addies the way I'm focused on this the way we put in so much work it's kind of hard to believe that I'm not popping any addies because of course when it comes to Adderalls that's the thing that keep you locked in keep you focused you know and of course that's something that's big in our culture today and it's kind of like wow Everything that I'm putting out, everything that I'm doing, would you believe that I'm not even popping addies at that? Coming in for the clothes, there's no fixer. Ever since the elixir, there was no elixir. This lyrics right here is kind of esoteric where I say, ever since the elixir, there was no elixir to basically stop what I'm doing. This is basically pointing to my first group album for a label that we had way back when, which was called Elixir. And we all came came together, me and, and the group of people that, that I was rapping and sing, singing with, we came together and made this album called Elixir. It's actually still up on um, Apple Music and Spotify, but please don't look it up. <laughs> so that's what I mean by ever since the Elixir, ever since I came out with that project right there, there was so much promise and so much direction that was shown and where we was going with the music and where I was what I was doing with the production with it so ever since then there's no elixir to stop what I'm bringing now to stop this great mind from global FaceTime and his own erase time forever living the prime and just to end off the verse right there that's when I just say basically about forever being in the prime where once again take it back to the other other lyrics I'm not giving it up with that once I take the lead with it I'm going to continue hitting just like I've been hitting when nobody's watching I'm still killing it when people are watching I'm still killing it forever in that prime so that's everything for resolute right there like I said it's a couple things in there that was esoteric but then other things that's just really some good nuggets to actually that you can actually take with you for life so until next time I will see y'all on within the sound wave and I'm D Brown the begotten son and I'm out